at five, Nicholas Cruz, indicted, facing 34 counts of murder and attempted murder for the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. Uh, he's, he's getting what he deserves. I mean, he did a horrible thing. Tonight, prosecutors build their case in the deadly school shooting and the grand jury handing up its indictment this afternoon. It came on a day when students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas attended their first full day of classes since the shooting. CBS 4's Carrie Cott is live tonight in Parkland with more on the indictment. Carrie. Yes, there was no mystery, of course, that Nicholas Cruz would face significant criminal charges, but now this indictment moves the criminal case forward. We spoke with several students today who say this once again shows how Cruz needs to be swiftly punished for what he's accused of doing. Nicholas Cruz now knows the precise criminal charges he will face. 17 counts of murder and 17 counts of attempted murder for the violence he's accused of causing inside the halls of the freshman building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. This news release from the Broward State Attorney's Office lists all 34 victims, living and dead. Students say they believe Cruz needs to be punished. I think that uh, he should uh, suffer in jail for the rest of his life and um, never get out. Uh, he's, he's getting what he deserves. I mean, he did a horrible thing. As Cruz sits in jail, we're learning more about his life in lockup. A source says that each day, Broward Sheriff's detention deputies take turns watching Cruz for their entire eight hour shift, making sure he doesn't try to harm himself. We're told Cruz is kept away from other inmates, and we're also learning more about his behavior. Reports in the Broward Sheriff's Office show what deputies are writing about Cruz's actions. One wrote that Cruz appeared to be in deep thought, and that during an attorney doctor interview, Cruz was very engaged, responsive, leaning forward in his chair, nodding yes or no, talkative, aware. That he was cooperative and complies with verbal orders. That Cruz very often sits with a blank stare. Another row Cruz appeared to break out in laughter both during and immediately following his professional visit. And on another instance, appears to be coherent while speaking to his attorneys. Inmate was also observed smiling and giggling. We also learned from the visitor logs at the jails that Cruz's brother has been to see him twice since he was arrested. As for the indictment, I spoke with a legal expert today about what happens next in the case. I'm told that uh, Cruz will be formally arraigned on these charges in the coming weeks. Also, it's expected that the state attorney's office will announce in the coming weeks whether they intend to pursue the death penalty in this case. Also, we will likely get a better look at the evidence that detectives and prosecutors have gathered against Cruz in the coming weeks and months. Live in Parkland, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.